Have you ever wondered why some people seem to succeed effortlessly in business while others struggle? It's not always about having the best product or the most innovative ideas. Often, it's about having superior interpersonal skills. In the realm of entrepreneurship, these skills are more than just a nice to have. They're the secret sauce that can set you apart from the crowd. They're the keys to building strong relationships, persuading others to see your point of view, and inspiring teams to work towards a common goal. One of the most revered guides to mastering these skills is Dale Carnegie's classic, How to Win Friends and Influence People. This book is a treasure trove of wisdom, filled with practical tips and timeless principles that have stood the test of time. So what are these magical principles that can transform your business relationships? Let's dive in. The first principle from Carnegie's book is the art of listening. It may sound simple, but don't be fooled. This principle is a game changer. Active listening is not just about keeping quiet while the other person talks. It's about genuinely engaging with their thoughts and ideas, showing interest and seeking to understand before being understood. In the hustle and bustle of business, it's easy to get lost in our own agendas. But imagine the impact if you could make every individual you interact with feel heard and valued. This doesn't mean you agree with everything they say. Rather, it's about creating a foundation of trust and understanding. This is crucial in business, where relationships are the lifeblood of success. So next time you're in a conversation, remember, don't just hear, listen, engage, empathize, understand. Remember, listening is not just about staying silent. It's about showing genuine interest in what the other person is saying. The second principle is empathy and understanding. Now, what does this mean? Imagine you're in a heated debate with a colleague. Instead of sticking to your viewpoint, you take a moment to step into their shoes to understand their viewpoint. This is empathy, the ability to feel and understand someone else's emotions and thoughts. Empathy is not just about sympathizing, it's about truly understanding. It's about acknowledging the feelings of others, validating their perspectives, and showing genuine interest in their thoughts. It's about active listening, not just hearing. In a business setting, empathy can be a game changer. It can diffuse conflicts, foster stronger relationships, and create a more harmonious working environment. When we approach situations with empathy, we open the door for better communication, collaboration, and understanding. So the next time you find yourself in a disagreement, remember, a little empathy can go a long way. By understanding others' perspectives, you can find common ground and resolve conflicts more effectively. Next up is appreciation and praise. This principle is all about acknowledging the good in others and openly expressing it. It's easy to focus on what's wrong, what needs fixing, but Dale Carnegie reminds us to also pay attention to what's right. Imagine you're leading a team. Each member has unique strengths. By appreciating and praising these strengths, you not only boost their morale, but also motivate them to perform better. It's like watering a plant. It grows better with positive reinforcement. And it's not just about false flattery. Genuine appreciation holds power. When people feel valued, they're likely to go the extra mile, contribute more ideas, and stick around longer. It's a win-win situation. Remember, it's not about praising for the sake of praising. It's about recognizing the efforts and contributions of others and expressing your gratitude for them. So let's not forget to say good job and thank you more often. A little appreciation goes a long way in building loyalty and motivation. The final principle is constructive feedback. It's an art, really. A fine balance between honesty and tact. Picture this. You're at a meeting and a team member presents an idea that could use some refining. Instead of dismissing it outright, you choose to cultivate growth. You say, that's a fantastic start. Now let's think about how we can take it up a notch. This approach encourages improvement without causing resentment. Now let's imagine another scenario. You're in a one-on-one -on -one with an employee whose performance has been slipping. Instead of berating them, you choose empathy. You ask, what's been challenging for you recently? And then you provide feedback on specific areas they can improve upon. The key lies in focusing on the behavior, not the person, and always offering a pathway for improvement. This way, feedback becomes a tool for growth, not a weapon to belittle. Remember, feedback is a tool for growth, not a weapon to belittle. So, we've covered the core principles from Dale Carnegie's classic. Let's take a moment to recap. 
We started with the art of listening, the foundation of all good communication. Remember, when we truly listen, we not only understand, but also make others feel valued and important. Next, we delved into empathy and understanding, a game changer in the world of business. By stepping into someone else's shoes, we can foster stronger connections and resolve conflicts more effectively. The third principle, appreciation and praise, taught us the power of positivity. A little recognition can go a long way in boosting morale and motivation. It's a simple yet powerful tool in your interpersonal skills arsenal. Lastly, we explored constructive feedback, a delicate art that, when mastered, can lead to growth and improvement. The goal is to help, not to harm, so always ensure your feedback is honest, fair, and kind. Now imagine bringing all these principles together in your daily interactions. Picture yourself in a business meeting, a negotiation, or even a casual networking event. Your enhanced listening skills lead to better understanding. Your empathy diffuses potential conflicts. Your appreciative words motivate your team, and your constructive feedback helps others grow. That's the power of interpersonal skills in action. These skills are not just for making friends. They are crucial for building strong, productive relationships that can propel your business to new heights. And while it may take some practice to perfect these skills, the payoff is well worth the effort. In the end, it all comes down to this. Your ability to interact effectively with people can be your greatest asset. It can be the difference between a good entrepreneur and a great one. It can be the key to unlocking unprecedented success in your business and personal life. Interpersonal skills are not just about making friends. They're about building strong, productive relationships that can propel your business to new heights. So start practicing these principles today and watch your business relationships transform. Before we close, we have a small request for you. If you found value in this video, if you've learned something new or found a fresh perspective, we'd love it if you could hit the like button below. It helps us know that we're on the right track with our content. And if you're not already part of our community, why not hit the subscribe button and join us? We regularly share insights and principles that can transform your business and personal life. And don't forget to share this video with your colleagues, friends, and anyone else who might benefit from it. Remember, interpersonal skills are not just for individual growth, but for collective growth as well. So by sharing, you're not just helping us, but your entire network. So like, share, subscribe, and let's continue our journey towards better interpersonal skills together. Thank you for your support and we look forward to bringing you more content that adds value to your life.